Hey Epic People, Epic Zora. This is going to be a quick video to show how you can use Raven Mutaka's Smash Ultimate Asset Importer to put Smash Ultimate models and animations into Unity. With the link provided in the description, you can get to this website and download Raymond Mataka's Smash Asset Importer. So, with this, it's going to come with all these files, and you're going to have to find some way to extract this uh, exporter.raw. So, once you do that, you can have all the things downloaded onto your desktop. And I'm going to go to the desktop right now. Here, I have three files. I've already extracted the zip file over here into this, and inside here, I have already put everything in here, or I've already extracted the raw file, so I've already done that. And inside it, this is how it looks. All right. So now I'm going to be using Fox, and I'm going to be taking his model and animations and putting them into Unity. So if you already know how to get to the models and stuff like that, uh, it's a quick. Google search, you can find all the files and animations for all the characters. I'll probably leave a link in the description. If I don't, let me know. Uh, but yeah, all, all of the animations and stuff are here. And of course, with the model, all uh, eight of them are here too. So it does not matter what, it does not matter which one you use. You can get all of the textures for each one of these. So you can have all seven colors and I'll show you. I'll show you how you can do that. So here, what you're also going to need is just a blank Unity scene. Here I have mine, and before uh, before you do anything, just make sure everything's all set up the way you like it, and then you're good to go. So here we are. What we're going to do first is going to the the basis here, and we're going to drag these two scripts into the Unity uh, into the Unity project. So once you drag them in, you'll see that you'll have some errors. And this is not good. 20 errors, but that's okay. We can easily fix this. One, we got to get rid of this unsafe code. So the way you can do this, you have to enable unsafe code in here. In your project settings under player, if you go down, you'll find an option for allow unsafe code. And you'll just have to click this. and. It'll go on and recompile and everything, and some of them will be gone. It should be down to like 11, yeah, 11 errors now. So now, what we have to do, which is really easy, another thing. It's kind of a little bit awkward to do, but it's all right. We're going to go out of here again, and we're going to go back into here. Go into the exporter after you've uh, extracted it. Find the right assets d uh, dot dll. We're going to drag it into the Unity project as well. All right. And when it's done, you should see that there are no more errors after it's done checking and everything. So here, no more errors. We're good. This is all you need to do. So you can put this into like some kind of new file. Like, yeah, sure. And all is good. There we go. If you want to be neat and tidy. So now what we can do is go back in here. And we're going to go down into the exporter part again. And we're going to hit on Smash Tools, the application one. It's going to bring up this white box and it's okay. So in here, when you want to get the models, hit on Models export model and you're gonna have to find where your models are so mine's on the desktop so Fox I'm gonna hit model and I'm gonna hit body because that's the one and it does not matter which one you want if you want a certain color pick the certain color that you want here so I'm going to pick I don't know what Fox color looks good but we're gonna pick the fourth one and we're gonna go all the way down let's see if I make this bigger We're gonna go all the way down until you find the model N U M D L B. Find that file and then you can just open it. Nothing happens in here and that's okay. 
but if you go into the out file, into the out folder, you'll see that it's here now. And now you can take this and drag it into Unity. And guess what? Box will be there. Expand it a little bit and drag the root into the scene. Also, it's the yellow one. But here is Fox in all of his glory. And here now you can take the root, put it over here, set it as a prefab, uh, prefab variant, and he's all good. Rename it to Fox. And we're here we are. Looking cool. They all have a lot of mouths and stuff like that, so feel free to mess with this how you want. Now that we've done that, we can go on and make the animations. We can set all the animations there. We can get all of them in the easy way. So what we have to do first is set the animation skeleton. So now, back in the Fox folder, I'm going to go to Model, it'll go to Body, whatever one. So I chose four. It really doesn't matter since they're all the same. But we're going to go all the way down to Model, N-U-S-K-T-B. N-U-S-K-T-B. Choose that file, hit OK. Then next, you can hit Animation, hit Batch Export Animation. This time, we're gonna go back to the Fox folder, hit Motion, hit Body, and hit whatever one you want. And then click on any one of these, because if you hit the Batch one, then it doesn't matter. They're all gonna come in. So I'm gonna just hit Wait one, it doesn't matter which one. And then go back in here, go into the Out, and now we have this folder, file. Drag this also into Unity. Wait for it to load. And here it is. All the animations are in this. So here they all are. Okay. Zoom this out. So now if I drag the fox over here, you see fox is in here. Let's see him. So now, if I go to any of these animations, you can see that Fox does a lot. Pretty cool. And that's easy, that's all you have to do. This is how you would do something like this. And if you need any questions answered, feel free to comment down below, or you can join the Discord and just ask me directly. Until next time, stay epic. Fox wins! Mission complete.